An interesting thread I saw recently on a QRZ forum. Uh, some people claim with antennas, an antenna is good if you can work everyone you hear. Now, of course, that really depends not so much on the antenna, but on the receiving environment. And if you have a lot of local noise and you can only hear the strongest stations, and those with the biggest antennas, and possibly the best locations, then it's not much of a boast to say that everyone that you can hear, you can work. Because there's a whole load of other stations that are several layers down below the interference that you can't hear. So, yeah, if you hear someone who boasts anything I can hear, I can work with this antenna, then query their noise level. don't take it as proof that their antenna is necessarily any good. A similar thing is if you've never been portable before and you go to an RF quiet location, then first of all, you're amazed at all the signals you hear. Um, probably 10 times as many signals that you can hear compared to if you're at home, they don't move the S meter, but they might be perfectly audible. Um, so, for listening, that's fantastic. But then when you try and call these stations, you can get disappointed because in a lot of cases, they won't necessarily hear you and it can be really hard work getting contacts. Not because of anything wrong with your transmitting setup, but because you can hear so many signals and in a lot of cases, their own noise levels may be higher than yours. So when you go portable and you hear lots of signals, savour the enjoyment of hearing them, but don't be too disappointed if they don't hear you when you call. The main exceptions are those also in quiet locations, then even if they're running low power and you're running low power, then you can have a two-way contact, both running low power and pretty simple antennas. But with the signals you hear, you don't know their receiving circumstances, so don't be too worried if they don't hear you when you call.